if I'm 25 and I still haven't fallen in love, never fallen in love, what would be your advice for me? And is there something wrong with me? Ah, oh, I love that question. There is nothing wrong with you. And I can say that confidently because I did that. I got married because I was 23 and that was the age I was supposed to be married. If you marry the wrong person, it's worse than not getting married. There's nothing wrong with you, right? I mean, it's going to be worse to marry the wrong person. And it may be that it's going to take you however long it takes you to find a life partner or a decade partner. You know, I've had the advantage of having an old school, many decades long marriage, but you don't have to have that. You have to find somebody who's right for you now. You grow together, it may happen that you grow apart, but you have to at least start uh, with someone who suits you. And so what I've been told is it takes about three months before the romantic haze wears off. And then you can see who the other person is. And then you can figure it out. At 25, I know this, you're still looking at abs. You're swiping based on six pack, eight pack, right? I know you are. And so abs gonna go, <laughs> I mean, pretty much even, uh, I saw uh, the new George Clooney. I mean, Jim except, Roberts. I mean, The Rock. I mean, I mean, I mean, The Rock. He still has abs. <laughs> There's some, some people keep their abs. Jennifer Lopez, right? Jennifer Lopez. Some people keep their abs. I mean, even Goldie Hawn still. She still got it? her abs lately, but mm -hmm. I mean, good enough. However, um, not usually, and that is not going to help if you have a crying baby. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, like, it's not good criteria. No, so you need to, uh, my advice is, what I wish I'd done, let me put it that way, is waited until I could see who someone was. My husband now, my husband, um, Jimmy, sometimes known as Pop-Ops, we'll call him Pop-Ops. Pop-Ops, um, yeah. Pop-Ops. He said that the first time he went out with me was the hardest interview of his life. <laughs> we went out to dinner and I was like, tell me about this. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? You know, I was really a tough customer because I was in my thirties and it was you're, like, you're a not... tough clothes. He had to yeah. work for it. Yeah, exactly. And, and if I can say this, um, I, my advice is don't be in a hurry to get physical. Because it's not because I'm making a judgment about that. It's that you don't get to know somebody. Mm -hmm. If you don't get together with them a few times without having a big jump happen, right? Yeah. So um, give yourself some time. Give yourself time to mature. Give yourself, your, yourself time to know what you want, what you really want, right? What are you really looking for? And then give yourself time for that person to show up. That all takes time. And what you've got in the meantime is you to work on, which is a lifelong project. So that's okay.